Apart from an overgrowth of moss, the well looks unremarkable. The coin disappears into the well. After a moment, you hear a soft clink, not a splash. Dry stones line the wall, but the darkness below is impenetrable. What's on your mind?
What path lies before me? My faith will protect me. even catch my breath. You've made a grave mistake. Yeah! Yes.
sake of a battle. to lose. I wonder what's down there. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. is locked tight with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth.
You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. Irresistible. You feel changed, bettered for having opened it. Suddenly you are capable of anything. Felling mountains, darkening suns, conversing with the dead. Glyphs shift gently before your eyes. Words slip into your mind, onto your lips, forming words you don't understand. And something is trying to reply. Your eyes warping and twisting. Your head throbs, but you almost understand. shadows. They pull at you, dragging you closer. your mind with strange runes. You see time rewritten, fate undone, your future thrumming with power. The book snaps closed. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you you should never have known. You've seen much of the book, but its most powerful secrets are guarded by indecipherable glyphs. Without a key, they may be locked away forever.
up now. Can't afford to stay idle. Interesting times. There is work to do. What to do? Broken bones. In the dark is everything I Go. thought it'd be. What's happening? Awaits. Stand in my way. Survival is all that matters. Should get started. Press on. 
Goodbye forever, pal. Covered. I am fury. I am death. No time to waste. Shame to lose you forever. Yes, do keep your eyes shut. Should a dagger suddenly slice your neck, we may never know who's to blame. The Underdark, as if we didn't face enough dangers back up on the surface. This is my first time in the Underdark. The world is so big! The infamous Underdark. Don't worry of the dangers you can see. Worry of the dangers you can't. What's on your mind? My favorite traveling companion.
everywhere. In the nine hells is that they're coming. They're coming. This might be some devil's ploy. Don't listen to it. They're coming. Dull moment. been catching myself smiling more lately.
What are you hiding? At least things have stayed interesting. I'm ready. Let's pop you open, shall we? Well, that ends not as bad as it could have. Chance I'll fit in there. Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. Assume nothing. Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. was a warrior's sacrifice to Elistre. Blood can only be honored with blood. The 
The drow script inscribed on the blade flickers and glows. It rises from the stone, hanging in the air in silent offering. to cause confusion. Let's not get too close. place. Helped. 
stalks. Hell of a combination. Get confused by one, blown up by the other. Love to, thanks. Stayed interesting. You are swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices, the harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, she has come. She is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am sovereign. You see a vision, your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. Visitor, you're a welcome sight, but let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg, proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. Or perhaps not. Your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. 
My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Omelium! I hope this is important, Blurg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside her head, but she hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis. That's impossible, but intriguing. Are you looking to have it extracted? Geich, your head will make a fine trophy for my queen. Please hold. I understand your rage against my kin. One of my brethren forced a tadpole into your eye. Or ear, perhaps. But I assure you, I stand with the Society of Brilliance, not the colonies of my people. Fool! They infest your head and invade your dreams, and still you would parley. I ask only that you refrain from violence. I respect that your opinion of my kind may be... charged. If that settles matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. As the Meloan's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive, awake, almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. No, it appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. Moreover, the cranium has undergone severe trauma. It is a miracle the brain functions at all. Extraction would risk much. The lava is not the only creature that has been inside this brain, but at present it is the sole resident. Unfortunately, beyond the assessment of my own kind, I cannot speculate what has passed through your cerebrum. But not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. A nautiloid? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Of course, I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. But I have... An idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind.
I do not intend to shatter its protection. I need only bypass the interference that prevents me from communicating with the lava. A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh tongue of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. My formula will hamper the more harmful effects once the mushrooms are brewed into a potion. Your sanity, however much you possess, should remain intact. The Underdark, of course, although they are quite rare, and their discovery perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. <laughs> 